Today's question is, what is the transformational Bible study method? I'm Gene Wyland, but it's all about Him. Welcome to a fun place to get serious about Bible study. You know, there is nothing like a good transformation, right? It's why I have belonged to at least five different gyms in my life. Six, if you count the one that I only went to a few times. I never returned because I didn't have anyone to talk with while I worked out. Not much transformation ever happened in that gym for me, other than what it did to my bank account. But today we are talking about spiritual transformation through studying the Bible in an easy and effective way through the transformational Bible study method. This method is the one I stumbled upon as I was reading the Bible to see God on every page. I shared the story in the last episode, so go back and listen to it if you haven't heard it. As I began to read the Bible to know God, I was transformed by what I was discovering about Him. Each day, I would wake up eager to study my Bible again the more and more I got to know God. Now, I stuck with this method because it was truly changing my heart and my mind from the inside out. And it developed an undying passion in me for reading and studying God's Word every day. It wasn't a duty. It was a delight. It is a delight, a true delight. So since that time, though, I've developed this one-step method into a simple three-step method that's not much different than the popular and excellent Bible study method I was using before. But the small tweaks that I made, they made a huge difference. In the previous method, I was taught to ask three questions of any passage I was reading. What does it say? What does it mean? And how does it apply to my life? These are all great questions. However, I tweaked them over time and developed Three steps, intent, truth, and transformation. Like the other method, each step asks one basic question. And I'm going to explain each step in detail in the next three episodes and why I made those tweaks to the previous method. So in in the intent step, step one of the transformational Bible study method, the question we ask of the passage we're reading is, what was the author's intent to his original audience. We want to know what the author intended his original audience, not us, his original audience, to know and understand through the passage we're reading. How did the original audience understand what the author wrote? We'll look at various aspects like context, history, culture, things like that in in the intent step. In the truth step, the second step, we ask the question, what truths Does this passage reveal about the character, nature, and ways of God or about the character, nature, and ways of anyone else we see in the passage, such as sin, Satan, the world, us as Christians, basically anyone or anything other than God in the passage? In this step, we look at the passage and note any words or phrases that we see that reveal truths God wants us to understand. Finally, in the transformation step, the third step, we ask the question, if I truly believe and act on what God has revealed in this passage, how will I be changed and my life be different tomorrow? How will the motivations and the attitudes of my heart transform, which will lead to my actions being different tomorrow or even today? In other words, what does it look like if we truly believe God in his word. That's it. Three simple steps, intent, truth, and transformation. In the next episodes, I'm going to break each step down for us, and I'll give you specific examples to help you better understand what each step does for us, how it truly transforms us better than any gym has ever transformed me, but that's probably my fault. You know, If I truly believe that working out will transform my health, I will go pull out my exercise mat now and get to work. 
Oh, Lord, I believe I should exercise. Help my unbelief. Thank you for joining me today. If you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button and share it with others or write a review on your favorite podcast app. I'm Gene Wyland, but it's all about him.